Hello and welcome. My name is Deborah Rethwin Arbenlo, and I'm a blogger and photographer for Second Life. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove green screen halos from hair in Second Life photos using blending modes. This is a trick that was taught to me by one of my YouTube commenters, and I've tested it, so now I'm going to share it with you. First, I just want to remove my green screen background. If you are unfamiliar with removing green screen backgrounds, watch the tutorial that I have in my YouTube video library. Don't use the settings that I have here because I tailored them specifically to leave green in the hair so you can see what I'm talking about when I do this tutorial. So I'm just going to remove the background. And then I'm going to add a background for you guys so you can see the work that I'm doing. Okay, so you can see there's green here in the hair. We want to remove that. So we're going to click our main layer and we're going to add a new layer. Here is the new layer button down here. We're going to click that, it creates a new layer. Now we want to make this new layer into a clipping mask. So we will right click our new layer and we will click create clipping mask. A clipping mask makes it so that anything you put on that layer doesn't go anywhere except for the layer that it's clipped to. So if I painted over this layer, it will not go beyond the areas that of the main layer that's below it. And that's important. So now we want to select our clipped layer, that new layer that we've created, and we're going to change our blending mode. Blending mode right now says normal. We want to click that and select Hue. This is not an exact science, so you may find that you have to play around a little bit with the method that I'm about to teach you. I have selected my dropper tool, and I want to select a color from the hair. I have found that the best way to do this is to select the darkest color in the hair. So I'm going to select this sort of grayish color and then I'm going to go and grab my paintbrush. So I have my paintbrush. I have my hardness set at 0% because I don't want to have any hard edges. Now I'm going to paint on top of the layer with my opacity at 100%. So we will paint over that green area and you can see that it just disappears. We'll paint over this green We'll paint over this green. So let's see what we started with. See all this green stuff in the hair? And then once we've done this, we have no green stuff. One of the problems I found with this method is that sometimes it picks up a hue that's a little bit off, and then you end up with colors that you didn't expect. So you may end up having to play with the color that you paint over it with, but the method will work if you work it it works if you work it. I have created this non-green area so we want to layer that down into the main layer. What I mean by that is we're just going to merge the layer that I just created and the layer below it so that we can continue our work. So we're just going to merge down and that puts them together. So now that green area is completely gone you have a new layer that has no green halo. So let's look at one more time before we did that, we've got the green. Afterwards, we have one layer with no green. And that's it. So if you have any questions, you can leave me a comment. And like I said, uh, not magic. You're going to have to maybe do a little bit of minute changes to the color to get the right color hue. But all in all, a pretty easy way to get rid of that green screen halo that gets stuck in hair sometimes. If you have suggestions for videos you'd like to see or you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the YouTube comments. You can send me a plurk message. You can send me a message on Flickr or in Second Life. Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you next time.